Remember that IBM Aptiva which I restored a little while ago? Well, somebody suggested that I should upgrade it with a Voodoo 2, so today we're going to be doing that. Let's get started. When I restored this IBM Aptiva, I didn't really think that it could be a gaming machine at all. It's only got a 300MHz AMD K62 CPU, which really would be a bit underpowered for a Voodoo 2. But it's always fun to mess around with different old hardware configurations, so yeah, let's put a Voodoo 2 in there and see how it performs. The card we'll be using today is a 12MB Voodoo 2, which happens to only have 12 memory chips, since it's a really late model one. It's rather simple to install the Voodoo 2. First, we just need to turn the computer case around, then we can unscrew the four screws on the back. From there, we can go ahead and remove the case's lid, which is a bit difficult with all the tabs it's got, but it can still be done. Looking at the expansion options on this motherboard, as we can see we only get one PCI slot, which is really lucky since otherwise we wouldn't be able to install the Voodoo 2. Now we need to remove the slot bracket cover and just take it out. Now we can put the Voodoo 2 into that one precious PCI slot. It's a pretty tight fit considering that this is a micro ATX system, however we can still get it in there just fine. I had to unscrew the ISA modem card so that way the slot bracket of the Voodoo 2 could fit. Once that's taken care of it's rather easy to go ahead and screw in the Voodoo 2. Now we just need to install the patch cable connecting the Voodoo 2 to the onboard graphics in this computer. And there we go, nicely done. With that simple upgrade, it's pretty safe to assume that this PC is going to be a lot more capable now, especially with 3D games. Anyway, with that being said, it's now time to put the lid back onto the computer case and try it out. I've set the computer up with some IBM peripherals, like a Model M and a matching monitor. Now we need to click on My Computer, click Properties, go to Device Manager, and then that way we can install the Voodoo 2's drivers. We need to click Display a list of drivers, then select 3D Accelerator. Then we click Have Disk to locate the Fast Voodoo 2 4.6 drivers which I'll be using in this system. Then we can click OK, OK again, and then next, next, and there we go, the drivers are installing, just like that. Now it wants to do a system reboot, so I'll just do that quickly. I've got a folder here with some 3D games which I'd like to try out, so let's start with Quake 2 first. Although the game does run alright, there seems to be some lagging and also some audio glitches. Now the onboard sound chip isn't really anything special, so that's to be expected. But overall I think the CPU might be a bit of a bottleneck here. I've run Quake 2 on a lot of different systems and this is a particularly bad experience. There's so much lag it's almost unplayable. So overall I don't think I'd want to play Quake 2 on this system. I decided to try out some 2ROCK next, so after setting it to the correct driver and clicking start game, it actually appears to be running pretty well on this system. As you can see here, it's running pretty smooth and it looks great in person and there's not really much noticeable lag when you're playing the game, which is really great. Everything was smooth sailing for the most part up until this point, but then when I tried out some Revolt, it just gave me some error messages, which is rather strange. This game is generally pretty compatible. So I decided to try out some Motocross Madness too, and after running this registry edit patch, it said it needed to test out the video memory to make sure it could run properly. However, it just kind of hung, and even when I tried launching the game after that was done, it wouldn't work at all, which is strange. I tried out some other games too, but they all kind of just gave error messages, which I've never encountered before. So yeah, I don't think this system is very compatible with most games at all. 
I guess I just got lucky with Turok and Quake 2. Either way, this was a really fun experiment to do, but at least now we can conclude that this PC isn't probably that great for games and should just be left as an office machine. So yeah, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.